I'm Penny Bentley. I'm a PhD candidate from the University of Southern Queensland. A bit about myself, uh, I was a mathematics and science teacher for over 25 years and stepped out of the classroom in around about 2011 and decided to do a PhD. On. Uh, research is focusing on the professional learning of Australian K-12 teachers who are using the open web to learn about um, science, technology, engineering and maths education. So, so that my PhD is, is an exploration of a group of teachers who have taken uh, a different approach to their professional learning um, and it's, um, they're just mo self-motivated to do this kind of learning. Oh, well, what I've found is that the teachers are engaged in a, in a variety of different approaches to their learning. So there's variation in their experience. So, for example, um, teachers may just simply use the open web to, to um, access, access a small amount of information if, if there's something that, that they need to know about a particular topic that they're teaching or um, to ask a particular question, just to find out a small amount of information. They just might access it any, from anywhere, at any time, from any location. So to them it's convenient. Um, it gives them the option to learn in a convenient way um, outside of their normal professional learning um, requirements of the school. So that they, they're accessing the open web independently of, of what their school um, does and in addition to. Um, secondly, another group of teachers, they would use the open web to um, connect and collaborate, socialise with other teachers to, to actually talk about their problems that they're having or to ask for help or in fact to help, help to offer help to other teachers. The third, the third group of teachers um, would access the open web to bring in support into the classroom. So you've got teachers who, who might be teaching and in the moment there and then they might want to actually get help from someone in their personal learning network that could help themselves or their, or their students. So these experiences range from simply just accessing the open web any time for a small amount of information, access, accessing the open web for a large amount of information to fill in any knowledge gaps that they might have. Then thirdly, it becomes more interactive where teachers can actually help each other when, when they're actually in the classroom so, or to take their students out of the classroom into other learning situations. Uh, I also found that, that some teachers were transformed by the experience. They began to see themselves as more confident teachers, um, teachers that uh, began to see themselves as, as different in their role, not, not just teachers who would stand up in front of a class and deliver all the information that they had to, but, but people who can reach more widely um, out onto the network and get help when they needed it. There was another experience that, that stood out for me that a number of teachers went through. They used the open web, web to um, continuously improve on resources that, and projects that they're actually undergoing. Um, so, for example, a teacher might start a project in the classroom, um, then put out a, a draft or an outline of that project onto the open web to seek feedback from other people. Um, and those other people might be other teachers or perhaps professionals in the area of, of STEM education. Um, they'd get help and support. The teacher would then take that um, improved material back into the classroom and, and test it. So um, there was a backwards and forwards of, of um, sharing and then testing and then building upon the quality of the information and putting it back out there again. So it, so it was more than just 
the social element of being on the open web, it was actually using the, the web to continuously improve the, the quality of the material.